and then you're done. That's pretty much it for. Hey guys, this is AT and welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be showing you how to do the Scarlet Witch power effect on Adobe After Effects. So if you wanna learn how to do that, then keep on watching. First, you're going to open Adobe After Effects and import your video to the software. Please note that this is not a beginner's tutorial, so if you have not had any experience with After Effects or editing, I would recommend checking out some beginning videos or tutorials. Once you import to the video, we're going to add the Scarlet Witch energy effect. What I did is I went to YouTube and screen recorded a Scarlet Witch energy effect. After I record the energy effect, I'm going to go back to After Effects and import the video and drag and drop the energy under the You're going to drag and drop the energy over the clip, not under it. Next, I'm going to adjust the energy to my hand and change the blend mode to screen. Now I'm going to adjust to the energy a little bit more. Next, I'm going to change the color of the energy so the color looks more red. To do that, I go to the search bar, type hue and saturation, and I'm going to drag and drop it to my video clip. Once you do that, you should see a color bar that pops up on the left. From here, you could change the color of the energy when you click on the color bar and adjust the color. Next, I'm going to track the energy to the hands. So for tracking, there are different ways to do this. Motion tracking and after effects. You could track motion by, by doing it automatically or you could track motion by doing it manually. But for this effect, I'm going to track the motion manually. You can track the motion however you want, manually or automatically. I'm just choosing to do it manually. To do that, I go to the clip of the energy, I click U, and I'm going to click on the position to start tracking the energy to the hand. And I'm going to go to the arrow of the preview, click forward, and move the energy to the hand for tracking. And I'll do the same thing for the right hand. Lastly, I'm going to add a trail to the energy. To do that, I go down and right click the video clip and I click new, click solid. You have to make sure the solid is black. Then I go to the search bar, type CC particle world and drag and drop it to the black solid. Next, I'm going to add the blur effect so the particles become more blurry. Next, I adjust the blur to the particles. And I'm going to make some other small adjustments like physics of gravity and the color of the trail. And then I'm going to track the trail to the energy. And then you're done. That's pretty much it for Thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to 18 Explorers. Until next time.